Hello beautiful people and welcome back to a new Vex IQ video. Today I'll show you how to build a proper face through drivetrain. But before you get started, please like and subscribe or else I'll put a piece of dynamite on my robot and drive it to your house. So first to make a face through drivetrain, you must make sure that this part is able to fit anything such as a 2x20 through so the bar can go under your bot. The next thing you must ensure you have in order to make a face through drivetrain is the front part. You must use this angled beam so the roller intake can go over the bar like this. And adding rubber bands on the first roller will also help with the cause. Next make sure that you have as much support as possible on the rear end of the bot so that the bot will not lean forward as much. The final step is using this L-shaped beam. If you have a really lightweight bot, it's possible that you wouldn't need this and just enough support at the back is okay. But for my bot, as you can see, it's pretty heavy. So we're gonna need to attach this on. To attach this before you do that, make sure that you have this plate set so that the beam can turn smoothly. And this is how you put it on. Keep the beam on like this and you can add extra support to make the robot more balanced. Now that's it for the face through drivetrain, but to make it more functional, it's best to add a rubber band. So attach the rubber band from here and stretch it to somewhere at the top of the bot like this. This will allow the face through to run more smoothly. And it will also give the bot lots of support. And maybe for some really heavy bots, one face through isn't enough. So you can add two face throughs on one side to keep it even more stable. With all those key factors of the face through on your bot, you should have no problem getting into the supply zone and clearing it. And that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.